Hey guys, it's T from Driftwood Gaming, and I'm here with a nice little bonus tutorial for you guys. This is for RPG Maker MZ, and right now we're going to learn how to add custom fonts to your game. Before I show you how to do it, I just want to mention, if you plan on adding custom fonts to your game, it's a really good idea to make that one of the first things you do in your project, because as soon as you start entering dialog, if you then change the font afterwards, it may not look very good in your window. I'm going to show you one site called Google Fonts, and it's a great place to find some fonts. Let's take a look and find a font that we want to add to our game. Okay, let's try this pangolin. We're going to take a look at it, and before we download it, I want to read the license. Okay, now you see here on this license, it's listed as Open Font License. If you click this link, it'll bring you to a page that shows you a download to the plain text Open Font License. I went ahead and opened that. And essentially the TLDR is, and you should definitely read all the licenses of the products that you use, is that you can use it for free, you can't sell the font itself, but if you use the font in a project or in a software, you can sell the resulting product, such as a game. So we're going to go ahead and use this font since we have permission from the creator. Also, we have the creator name down here, and it's always good practice to credit everybody for the work that you take. So go up to the top right corner and click Download Family. Now we have a zip file, we're going to copy, we're going to open our game project and open the fonts folder. Okay, now that we're in our game project, you'll see here that we have a bunch of folders and the one that we're looking for is fonts. Let's double click on that. We're going to paste the zip file that we copied and extract it right here. Okay, now that we have it extracted, we're going to double click on it. Actually, we need to put the file in the font folder. So I'm just going to drag it up over here and as you can see inside this folder is the license text. If you need to read it again it'll be easy to find. You should include it in your game file. So now you just double click the font and hit install. Now that it's installed copy the file name and go to your game project. Once you're in your game project open the database and go to system tab 2. Go to main font file name and double click here. Now just paste the font name and hit OK. Let's see the font in our game. Ooh, look at that. You can already see it at the title screen. So spiffy. Let's talk a little bit. Oh, uh oh. I walked out the door. Good job, me. Isn't that pretty? Awesome. Beautiful. So that was pretty simple. If you guys want to spruce up your game, adding a custom font is a great way to do it. Again, I highly suggest make that one of the first things you do on your project. Find a font that you really like, stick it in your project, and it should go well for the rest of your game. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell. Also, come hang out with us on the Discord. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!